it is Manchester United nil. Tottenham Hotspur 3 Manchester United have ruined our weekend once again this team is shit Kaka Dudu full of it bunch of turds bunch of turds all I have to say right now Eric Ten Hag out Eric Ten Hag sack him now he should have sacked him yesterday sack him today sack him tomorrow sack him three times all over again Lord Voldemort bruv egghead Humpty Dumpty I hope you slip off the wall crack that Egghead of yours, of yours, and you know what? And I hope the bird drinks your yolk, cause you've got nothing in there. You're full of it, crap. I, all of you guys that support this players, Bruno Fernandez, Bruno Fernandez has let you down once again. He's a joke, Captain Magnifico. Like Portuguese Magnifico, my ass. Portuguese Magnifico, my ass. Oh, Bruno Fernando, he's our saviour. The GAs, the GAs, the GAs, the GAs. That's what. All these GAs, but my eyes tell me he's not good enough and will never be good enough. Oh, Marcus Rashford, he feeds the kids, you know? Yeah, he feeds the kids. He does so good for society. Huh? We should stay. He should be starting game. Guess what? Another opportunity where Marcus Rashford plays, and guess what? He cost us. He cost us. He cost us from the losing the ball and then uh, to uh, um, Hotspur score. Marcus Trashford, the guy that you love the most. Ah, oh, what a joke. I said it before, and all the Manchester United fans that wrote that letter said, Oh dear, Emios, yeah, I'm outraged by the fact that you feel like you want to sack Eric Ten Hag. It's, it's, about, it's, 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 it's not a good an opportunity for Eric Ten Hag to continue what he was doing after considering all the injuries and the fact that he's won the FA Cup two trophies in a row. Posturous that you get rid of him. I am angry. You know, we will not have it. We support our manager and we will back him to the end. It will be a crime. It will be criminal for you to get rid of Eric Ten Hag. And guess what? Are you happy now? Are you entertained with these performances? Week after week, no pro performance. What is our philosophy? What are we? Jackie Chan, who am I? Who am I? Who are we? We are not. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know, and then every time, week after week, bad performance after bad performance, running our weekend all the time, Re destroying our mental health, you know, destroying our health physically every day, and we got with pain. And I wonder why, because it's related to supporting Manchester United, because the doctors can't diagnose it. They're like, what causes you pain? Is it stress? Is it to do with your mental health? It must be because you're having all these pains. I'm like, doctor, I don't know. He then he asks me, are you a Manchester United fan by any chance? I'm like, yeah, Doc. That's the reason why. That's the reason why all of you Manchester United fans are in pain. Mentally, you're having arguments as well. We'll argue with anyone. We're snapping at people at work. You're probably, this is probably the reason why your relationship is not going well with our partners. You know, straight after we lose, oh, how you doing, babe? What do you mean, how am I doing, babe? Uh, what do you mean? Do you not know my team lost? Uh, uh, just don't even think about it. Don't talk to me, babe. Do you want something to eat? No, I don't fucking want something to eat. I'm too busy, pissed off. I had to stomach a defeat, babe. Don't you think I'm full enough? Huh? Huh? Full enough? Full of defeat? Huh? Huh? My stomach is full of defeat, babe. What do you mean you want me to eat? What do you mean how good you are? Oh, it's only a football game. Shut up. That's exactly what happens. That's exactly what happens because Manchester United have ruined us. They're destroying us. And people want to back this team and back this player, back these scrubs, back this manager. Do it. Do it. And I have to be here week in, week out, the one that watches this match and goes through it and gets trolled on. Yeah, gets trolled on all the time. And these players don't care. They go home. They got all the money in the world in the bank account. It's not like they care about their pride and ego because they don't, you know? They're smiling, shaking people's hands, saying a good job, well done, well played. You can't tell each other a well played, good game. You can't do that. Inconsistent team. Inconsistent blood clots, bro. I've had enough of this. Like it, it hurts my heart. It hurts the soul to watch my team go week in, week out, lose, draw, hardly win, minus goal difference. What are we? When did it get this bad? When? When? I used to enjoy being a Manchester United fan, but now I'm miserable. I am miserable. I want to see success, but we will never see success because why? In your sack him. What's there to hold you back? There's enough ownership. Own up. Own up. Own up. Sack him. We're behind you. 
Do you not see the fans today? This is the game I saw. The fan were gone. 80th minute, they're gone home. That tells me you're allowed to sack him. The booing, the jeering at Old Trafford, half time and full time, tells me, Ineos, you should sack him. Sack him. I want to wake up tomorrow, turn on Sky Sports News, breaking news, and return on has been sacked. Because this guy should be gone. You look at today's game as well in the first half. Manchester United were poor. Started off poor and ended up poor. The first half especially, Marcus Rashford is the reason why we conceded the first goal. Oh, Rashford, your guy, the guy, the boy, the star boy, you know, Mr. Manchester. This is Mr. Manchester, you know. Mr. Manchester can't, man, can't be a man to this Chester. No, it can't. He can't be a man to the Chester because this guy's full of shit. But anyway, he, he, lets, he loses that ball. Mickey Van Vee just runs straight through us like we are full of it. Like we are a bunch of nobodies. And he did. Phew! Straight through us. And he scores. And he crosses the ball to Brennan Johnson to score. And then Manchester United, you just think you can't get worse. Couldn't get. It got worse. Because Bruno Fernandes decided, I've had enough. I don't like to show up. You know, where's Wildo? You know, this time he wouldn't be able to see Bruno Fernandes because he got sent off. You won't be able to spot him in the picture of the where's Bruno game. A.K.A. Where's Waldo? Because he was he was gone. He was gone. Nowhere to be seen. Bruno Fernandes is a fraud. All the time. Missing 24-7. Bruv. I wish you should be on the back of a milk bottle. You're always missing. You're missing. 24-7. Back of the milk bottle, please. You know, with a reward. In fact, I wouldn't even want... We don't even want to find you. The rewarding won't be good enough. It doesn't compensate. You know what? We're better off you go missing. We don't want you back at Manchester United playing football, starting for us like this. Like, this guy's not a baller. Can't retain the ball. Meant to be a playmaker. Can't keep the ball. Always spamming the ball all over the place. Doesn't, doesn't dictate the tempo of this game. Have no control. No self-awareness. Like, okay, back him. Bring it in and going GA, GA my ass, man. And then you got Mark Shrashford as well. But the second half, again, we concede a goal. Kolzeski. So easy for Tottenham to open us up. And then Solanke finished off. You know what I have to say? Thank God for Andre Onana. Thank God for him. Because he saved us from getting an absolute embarrassment. If you want to talk about the players, talk about the players. Because let's talk about these players. Marcus Rashford, Eric Turnog, and Bruno Fernandes. Those, they cost us. Bruno Fernandes is a fraud. I've always said this before. I said it in my last game. And I said it in, in the last post. And I said it in, online as well on Instagram. You guys have been lied to. You know, he deceived you a long time ago. He conned you. He conned you. He told you you, 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 thought, you, thought, you thought he was a good footballer. He conned you to believe in that he's just, he's just playmaker that's great. But he's not. Look at Rashford. Again. A player that shouldn't even be playing for Manchester United anymore, in my opinion. He should have got sold. He should have got sold last season. It's the same Mark Rashford that you saw consistently last year. The year before that as well, I think. I mean, the two years before that, before his 31 goals. Again, he's back. There's Rashford that you know, that I know, that's not consistent. Has always been there and he's been back. He's been back for the longest of time. But yeah, you want to support that. You want to say, why well, didn't he play in the last game? This is the reason why I look at that. Marcus Rashford played so well against um, um, FC20 for 45 minutes. And I, when I called him out, Eli was like, he played so well. For 45 minutes, Manchester United fan. Your standards are low. We all, our standards are low. What have we turned into? And Eric Ten Hag, you scrub. Get sacked tomorrow. I don't want to see him no more. You know, I just don't want to see him no more. I'm, I've moved on. It's been three years, nothing, nothing, nothing. Manchester United fans, big up Andre Onana because without him, we would have conceded. It would have been worse than that. He's, I would say he's the man of the match. Donkey of the match has to go to those three scrubs, Bruno Fernandes, Eric Ten Hag, and Marcus Rashford. Big up to everyone that's tuning in. Let me know what your thoughts of today's game as well. Let me know who your man of the match is and your donkey of the match is because Manchester United fans, it could get, it's going to get worse if this guy doesn't get sacked. Will he get set tomorrow? Let's find out. Tune in tomorrow for the catch up with Amanda. Peace. I'm done. Done. Remember to keep it united. Remember to keep it red united. Your boy is out.